George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Oh, watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George takes his duty as Jungle King very seriously. There's no place too high, too low, too dangerous, or too stinky for him to protect. Our jungle's that way. Like, for instance, the sleepy lotus flower fields. The vine that's not connected to anything. Hey, ape! George can see treehouse from now! Disappointing Jelly Bean Gulch. Only green and black, all the way down. Yes. Who eats these? The dark heart of the jungle. <laughs> oh, Hardy. <laughs> George fall for that joke every time. George leaves no stone unturned, protecting the entire jungle. Or at least, he thinks he protects the entire jungle. Phew! Who knew jungle have so many stones? Yes, well... Time for a break! Last one in is a rotten banana! <gasps> I'm going to mirror floor! What? What are you talking about? Hey, pull my head! Ah! And grow new body! George, I'm swimming in a lake. I'm swimming in lake! Wait, what is lake? Whoa! Hey, stop, big mighty fish! Oh. Oh. Hey, George, no protect water animals! Must fix! You're the jungle king, not the lake king. But Lake in Jungle, George must help lake animals. George, you can't breathe underwater. Oh, ape have point. Aha! A primitive snorkel. Very clever, George. But it's still not your. Are you trying to drink the entire lake? distinctly unqualified to help underwater. I'm sure the fish can handle their own problems. But ape! Fishies need George help! I'm sorry, George. Unless you trade your lungs for a pair of gills, you're never going to... Breathe through your neck like a fish. Enjoy the new gills, George. <laughs> <laughs> Is he suffocating? <laughs> yep. Well, run along, George. Better get to the water before you asphyxiate. <laughs> I'm a doctor because I love to help. Who wants balloons for their birthday? Not for free. Okay. Okay. No more be afraid, water animals. Jungle King here to help. The lobster shivery called George help make warm. Snakes drowning. George, come home. You don't belong here. Is that my fine silverware? No. Oh, poor fishy sad. George, help! Be happy, sad fish. <laughs> dicko, dicko, dicko. Hmm, maybe you lonely? Look, sad fish, new friend. Ha, 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 yay? Lobster friends, all warm now? Hey, do you see lobster friends? Lobster friends? Oh, yes. They went to a, a better place. I'm watching their bib for them. 
I only have an elementary grasp of Fishtonian, but perhaps I can translate. Please, please, please go away, please. You're no good at this. Maybe Water Lake not need help. What should George do? You should go home and... Rescue filthy fish! Hey, shark! No eat little fishies! New rule from new king, okay? No! Sea guppies? George good? Huh? No eat guppies. Eating guppies bad, okay? Ow! Hey, who throw boot? A better question might be, how did they throw that? Pay attention, sharks. No eat guppies. Eat other tasty stuff, okay? <sighs> it was bound to happen. At least George saved guppies. Except that one. And those. Hey, you don't listen. Stop eating guppies. Your intentions are noble, George, but you're king of the jungle, not king of the lake. As long as sharks cruise the waters, guppies will be eaten. Hmm. You right, Abe. <laughs> yes, well, that's all very good, but where are you going to put them all? Hmm. Many partial devourings later... See, Abe, no more sharks? So Guppy's all happy. Of course, now I have to find a new place to sleep. Mm. Oh, you right, Abe. Ooh, time for bed. <sighs> See you in morning. Without any predators, <laughs> the guppies are breeding out of control. Hmm. George, know what he have to do. Good. Now, once you bring the sharks back, we can... Where are the sharks? George, find something better. Which doctor helped make new guppy eater? Oh, no. Look at tasty guppies, tigers. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> I suppose opposites attract. At least water filled with cute guppies. Could be worse. <laughs> Could be dangerous monster. George. George of the jungle. Hi. We are the Gup. A critical mass of fish intelligence. Before we were food, now we are the everything. Meat? All must join us or perish. Join us. Ah! Hey, did George make Lake bad? You really, really did. Then George fix. First step, bring back sharks. <laughs> Where sharks? Turkey, turkey. Sharks grow legs and breathe air. But evolution doesn't work like that. Well, they don't seem to care. Sharkfish, stop! No eat zebras! Go back to water! Lots of guppies in lake! Mmm! They seem to prefer zebras now. George, stop! You can't go back in there! You'll be guputized! George, sorry he mess up lake. Please be normal fish now, okay? No, without the sharks, we are unstoppable. Unstoppable? Don't you... You know what we mean. Look, Ape. Tigers and water cows have cute babies. <laughs> <laughs> 
George have planned. But maybe Lake not want George help. George, I think that fish has already swum. What? Just do your plan and fix the lake. Yeah! Bottle George, maybe tiger water cows? Hey, fish cube! George, have you come to join the collective? Oh, yeah. But first, um, George want to show you what he can do. <laughs> Watch George. Whee! <laughs> That's not that impressive. Wow, huh? Huh? Also not impressive. Enough mildly interesting swimming. You will join us now. Tiger water cows, now! No, no, we are legion. We are delicious, apparently. George? George! George? George, fix Lake? Yes, George, somehow you did. Oh, good. George want to go somewhere not wet now. Back to jungle. All right, George, let's get you your lungs back. Hey, kids, I need those lungs back. Oh. Uh... <laughs> The jungle, an oasis of calm and tranquility. Sweet mother of coconuts, it's the stars of our show. George of the Jungle and his wise mentor, Ape. Our heroes are on their way to stop a scuffle over an injured pastry separated from its herd. From turning into a full-on psychic ape apocalypse. George, they'll destroy the jungle. George, stop, brain fight. Oh, no. If only George knew how terrible his plan was. Huh? What, Skyboy say? Yanking a banana during a Class 5 mind war will tear the fabric of reality itself and lead to the end of the universe. Wow, uh, okay. Maybe George not do that. But George, <laughs> we have to do something. If only our heroes knew the secret weakness of all eight counselors, vanity. Did you hear that, George? George know what to do. Ah! Oh, uh, fancy apes, go home. <laughs> Good work, George. No, thank George. Thanks, Sky Boys. Oh, shucks, guys. It was nothing. Just doing my job. No. It's true. Who would have guessed having an all-seeing, all-knowing presence on our side really helps? George, make Sky Voice Jungle Deputy! <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! <clears throat> I would love to, because the volcano is about to blow. It's a good thing George and his new deputy are ready to stop the eruption. Good one, Deputy Sky Voice. Let's go. Now, Ape really wanted to go. It's just too bad he had to stay behind and clean up the mess. Really? Oh, that too bad. It's a jungle. It's supposed to be messy. And thanks to George's muscle and the narrator's warning, the jungle is safe. <laughs> Sky Boy's so right. Uh-oh. What, Deputy? I feel a montage coming on. Jungle fires are a breeze when you can just narrate up a rainstorm. Poor animal behavior is nipped in the bud. Tiger know what Tiger going to do. And villains don't even get off the starting line. All thanks to the amazing and handsome sounding narrator. Hey, and? Oh, uh, sorry, and George, king of the jungle too. The deputy and his king return from another heroic day of keeping the jungle safe. Sky boys make everything sound good. George, feel like going on patrol? I miss the action, you know? The old team, George and Ape, working together. Tut tut. It's just too bad George is about to find out what Ape secretly does every night. What? Wait? No! Cutaway time! <gasps> oh, yeah. And now, George is about to discover Ape's secret collection of teen vampire ape fiction. 
And poor Ape is about to learn that no matter how fast or far you go, you can't outrun shame. Hey, that mean! Please, we don't need that guy. Why Sky Voice do that to Ape? <gasps> oh no, George! There's peril afoot! Hold on, little guy! Go, go, Jungle King! <laughs> Run free, long neck horsey. George! That's right, you keep running. I need your help, George. I lost my microscope inside Ursula. Oh, look, it's everybody's least favorite scientist, Magnolia. Excuse me, what? And she's about to have a bad day. An incredibly unlikely outbreak of, uh, let's see, uh, oh, yeah, itchy scabitis. No such thing. Where are you, baby giraffe? I need a scab scratcher. I'm going to rub you all over. Ooh, bad luck for Magnolia. Ah! Where's Magnolia? Her too? Give me a break. Uh, suddenly Ursula was abducted by aliens. Ah! Wow, George Friend's having really bad day. I've called you here because I'm worried about George. The narrator won't let anybody near him. Why are you whispering? So he won't hear us. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Let's whisper so the all-knowing, all-seeing Sky Voice won't hear us. Yeah, that's totally going to work. OK, yeah, but you don't have to be so snarky about it. Why won't you let us near George? Why? I'm a star, and stars don't share scenes with hacks like you. That was low. Yeah, no need to get unprofessional. Ha! I'll show you unprofessional. Ursula is about to learn what Ape does with all his might. Now, nobody needs to... Cut away! <laughs> Wait, don't you see what he's doing? Ursula, it's right. He's manipulating us. And why don't I show Magnolia what you did in her tent last night? What? <laughs> that was a new tent. And in a hilarious turn of events, Ape's about to discover what Magnolia really thinks of Ape's poetry. Wow, this stinks. It was experimental. Do you have any idea how long I'll be scrubbing? It doesn't have to rhyme. Hey, 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 hey. George friends want wake up entire jungle? George! Hello! Looks like an adorable little lion cub just got himself stuck in quicksand. No! Wait! George rescue little guy in minute! George won't know what going on! It's your deputy! He's trying to take over! You have to fire him, George! Oh yeah, sure! Fire the best help you've ever had! The jungle's never been safer! What's George going to decide? Keep his amazing deputy and enjoy a super safe jungle? Or side with his loser friends? Okay, George pick friends. What? George decides Sky Voice not deputy anymore. Not so all-knowing now. But I can't go from a principal to a mere actor. How am I going to tell my agent? Now, Sky Voice, George thinks that... No, 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 no. I, I won't go back. Oh, well, uh, what's that in the sky? Could it be a... Completely random, non-character-based meteor shower? Hey, what's Sky Voice doing? I'd rather destroy everything than go back to just talking about it. I'm going to narrate up an apocalypse. Now for an unlikely but exciting mutant land shark attack. And running is hard when there isn't any gravity. <laughs> ah! fighting fish, go away! <laughs> Ooh, what this? That's not a vine, it's a power cord! And that's a camera! Oh, it's nothing, nothing at all! Pay no attention to it! Just put it back. George, follow that cord! Stop! Stop! A talkie box? Suddenly, our heroes stop what they're doing and go home because... Uh, their homes are now filled with... Uh, cupcakes! Yes, delicious cupcakes!
George like cupcakes. Don't listen to him, George. <laughs> Wait. Why George and friends sleeping? And that's when they realized that it had all been just a dream. Great! The worst kind of ending. This is a terrible episode. Wait. If it dream, why George still have power vine? And roll credits. Wait! George think this is it? Whoa. Okay, you finally found me. You're a squid. I prefer cephalopod. Calamari. Please, I can explain. If you'll permit me a flashback, I was just a lowly squid, one amongst thousands minding my own business. When I discovered this cave quite by accident, Tempted by the knowledge it offered, I wired myself in. Since that day, I've been trapped, never able to rejoin my kind, only able to watch and describe. No excuse for being jerk. Um, how can you even talk? I'm so sorry, I couldn't resist the chance to stand out, be an individual. For a squid, that's big. Here's an idea. How about I narrate up a quick ending and we just pretend this never happened? Yeah, except the jungle's a disaster. Squid narrate jungle back to normal? You can't unnarrate. That's just crazy talk. Seriously? Nobody else is bothered by the fact that this is a squid? How is it even alive? There's only one thing to do, George. We need to pull the plug. Oh. Sorry, Sky Voice Squid. Stop! Uh, we can talk about this. You don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Ape! It work? It worked! Everything's back to normal. Si, la selva volvió a la normalidad. Gracias a nuestro heroes, Giorgiapi. Um. Close enough.